Hello everybody, how are you? In this video, I will explain the uh, statement like uh, control statement and the looping statement. Control statement like if statement and switch and looping statement like for and uh, while. And there is uh, other type of the statement. But in this video, I will focus on those four uh, statement, if, switch, for and while. But before that, I will talking about the function because in the previous video we will uh, explain the primitive type and reference type and we say that the uh, function is the example of the reference type. So what is the function? In the any programming language, not just the JavaScript, there is a function. Function is just like a, a block of code or piece of code, not implement or uh, not run without we uh, call it. it. I will give you an example. I have a function. I say just that this keyword this is function. And I add the name of the function. For example, I want to to add two number. For that, I just say call it add or name it add. Add to add two number. And in the brackets, inside the brackets, we put the variables to call it the parameter. In this context, in the function context, we call the parameter. If we want to add the uh, variable here to use it in this function. But now, I don't want that. I just uh, uh, let it uh, empty. And we open the brackets. Here inside, inside the function, I will make a statement or I want I will create a piece of code to implement or to run something or to in this example I will add two number for example I just say um, let for example line one equal five for example let n2 equal three just example and then let z equal n1 plus n2 and I will uh, uh, print it using console dot log to print the z or show me the z but this code not like the previous code it is not implement or not run without we call it the function if we now if we implement or we, we open the browser Go to the console. As we see, nothing ha nothing happened because we don't call the function. Call the function. How we can call it? Just by its name. For example, I just say add here, and just that. In this way, if I try to make a reload, so it is a uh, add. It is the the result of the uh, plus or the result of the addi addition. Program, right? Also, in function, in function, we should use or we can use the return. What is the return? The return, I say, the this function returns some value. For example, I say return returns it. I here I don't say you you should I don't say this function should return should print the z. Just I say just returns it. Now, if I make a refresh, it is return nothing, right? It is empty. Why? Because I just say return. This function return value, but this value not show in the in the console. I don't say you should show me this value or print this value. For that, when I call the function, I should call it inside the console if I want to, to print the value. Console.log and I'll say add. Function. Now when I say the add in the log on in the console dot log, just uh, uh, he uh, just will uh, print the the return of this function. It is the z. So now if I say if I make a refresh, it is an add, right? Now I will using this uh, function in the another way. I want the user or the programmer put the value, not I just uh, as here. I, I say that in one five and in two is the three. This, this function is like a static function. We cannot change anything. 
you cannot add another uh, another value another number but we using the as we say a parameter here inside the practice say n1 here add n2 to a parameter and here just i say that z equal n1 plus n2 then i will return z here in this function we will we, when we call the, this function add we should have a parameter because this function ha has has a parameter here right so this parameter n1 as an n2 i will repla replace it by the number it is called the argument here for example i want to add the uh, 3 and 3 for example 6 i just replace the n1 and with the, with the 3 and n2 with the 3 now z equal 3 plus 3 and return 6 now if i make a refresh here so it is 6 right it is like a dynamic i can uh, change the value by using the parameter here and here we when we call the function it is called the argument so the one argument first argument for example 2 and the second for example 4 will be add this it is also 6 right it is a function it is all thing about the function in the uh, javascript es6 version there is a, a something called a row function it is like this function i will just but it is a little different how i can uh, define a row function it is just like this i will define uh, like this function exactly this function but in this array way in the array function you can say let like just a variable call it add because this function for add to a number that is equal to like a variable but this variable have a, a practice Practice maybe I even call uh, also called the uh, also um, has a parameter n1 and n2 and then I make a row for that is called a row function and a parentheses and everything like like that I just copy paste like this function now it's the same thing I can delete this function and I also call it add two four same thing now if i make a reload to just six as this uh, previous function this is called a row function in this in the latest version of the javascript you should using in this way it is more clean and more and easy to understand this is all thing about function now i will explain the statement what is the statement? Statement, uh, there is a looping statement and the control statement. Control statement like if statement, as it is named, this if statement. As example of if statement, I will make a function. This function receive two uh, number as a parameter and compare uh, between them and then return number or the bigger number. For that, I just say in the row function let i say it is max name of the function equal in the inside the brackets i say that i make the two number also n1 and n2 and i want to return the biggest number the max number the number the the, the bigger number for that i just say if like a condition if n1 Bigger than n2, this is the just return return n1 because I want the bigger. Also, I can say here else if else if the n2 bigger than n1. Also return n2. This is easy to understand, I think, because just I want to to return the bigger number. The bigger. If n1 be the bigger, 
bigger uh, bigger than n2 just return n1 else if the n2 bigger than n1 just return n2 now if i call this function by console dot log i just say max and uh, parameter n1 and n2 with the argument for the number for example i say 4 and 7 this function will should be return the 7 because it is the bigger right this is the error so i make refresh to a 7 right if i make it uh, like 9 we should return the 9 so it is a 9 I just replace the n1 with 9 and n2 with 7 and if n1 it is a 9 bigger than n2 return n1 so it is just return the 9 else if if it is uh, wrong if it is right if n1 bigger than n2 it is just return n1 and stop the program but if it is not a true it is a false it is a, uh, wrong uh, the program will will shift to the another block this else if n2 bigger than n1 return n2 and that is now if i say if i make this uh, same number for example it is 2 9 what the program will return so it is undefined because i don't say if it is uh, equal so i can in the end of the block if else if else if we, i can make this multiple time x uh, else if else if but uh, in the end i just say else that mean else. If nothing is true, if this is not a true and it is not a true, else you can say it is equal. For example, I because if n1 not bigger than n2 and n2 not bigger than n1, so it is equal, right? I just say else equal. For that, it is equal, right? Because I say it is 9 and 9. What about the now what about the switch statement switch statement also like this for example it is like a statement but sometimes there is a i i have i i should using many else if for example i, sh I say if else if else if else if it is multiple time in this situation i should using all it is uh, useful or better to use the switch statement for example if i want to make a program to uh, return the the day of the week i say let example uh, i say the week equal i say for example day i can here insert the day as a parameter sorry this is a raw function like this so I will say switch switch what to switch about day we will uh, we will test the day the user will should you uh, uh, insert the day for example one and two and three and four just a number and if it is one I will return the Saturday if it is two I will it return the Sunday and so on for that I will say switch day like I test the day and then sorry case one so just there is a multiple case the user may be insert one two three and so on I say just return Saturday right after that case if insert to the user, sorry, if user insert to return Sunday, and the Friday. Also, I can just uh, return or uh, save this program by console or print this. Uh, the result I just say the week the name of the function row function and inside it I will say for example a three if a three should return what should return the Monday right now reload is Monday 
I say, for example, as a argument six, we'll say Thursday. Should print Thursday, and so on, right? This in this situation, I can make it by using the if statement also if else if, but I I should make an if else if if else if. It is easy and better and uh, more understandable and readable by using the switch. Sometimes you have also many other cases, not just seven, for example, the 12 for year and so on. In this situation, you should using or this the better you using the switch than if statement. The if statement and the switch statement is the most important uh, control statement. Now we will shifting to the, the uh, looping statement. The also most important uh, for and while. In the JavaScript and many programming language using the for example, for statement. For example, if I want to print the 10 number, it's not a, so I should use the for. For, I can say just for. I make the, for example, I say I called i or anything equal because I want to from, I want to print the, the number from 1 to 10. Equal 1, this begin for, by 1, then I say i. Uh, I make a condition, for example, it is a one and should just uh, stop. There is a loop, it is a repeat. For that, I should make a condition to stop the repeat. It is for the i, if i smaller than or less than and equal 10 or equal 10. If i equal 10 or less than 10, you should continue, you should continue repeat. But if it is uh, bigger than 10, it will be stopped. For that, I say i plus a plus. I will continue add one, two, three, or, or because i start by one, and then it is two, three, four. I should say plus a plus. But while this 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 condition is true, if i less than or equal ten, the for loop is continue running. For that, I just say console dot log i. In the first loop, i will be 1. This will be console, will be print 1. And then, i, it is less or equal 10? Yes, because it is 1. So, make it 2. But in the first time, it is equal 1. It is 1. But, and then will be 2. 2. Now it is 2. 2 is the less than or equal 10? Yes. So, it is print 2. And then it is plus plus will be 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will, uh, the last thing will be print the 10. After that, this will be 11 because plus plus will be 11. If it is 11, the i is less than or equal 10? No, because it is 11. So it is stop. Right? Refresh or reload. It is from 1 to 10. Right? There is a other way to using the for in the JavaScript. For example, I have a collection or I have the uh, array. Let, for example, I can say number or num equal array, for example, to 10 and so on. And I want to print all this number. For that, I can say just for. It is another way. For, for example, also i. I say n to i. In what? In number. I say i in this array number. And then I just say you can print it. Console.log i. So now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I just say number of index of i. Because i will be inside the num, the num for it is, will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I say num of i is a loop. Uh, we'll say the number of 0, it is 2. Number of 1, it is 5. Number of uh, 2, it is 8, and so on. Just i in the number. For that, I say it is 2. Uh, print all the value inside the function, inside the array, sorry. 
it is a for. Now, how about the while? For example, I want also to print the number, but the while is a different. I can I say just uh, while make a condition. For example, I make the there. You can call it like a counter, just to count the number. You can say it is begin from one because I want to print the number from one to ten. Here inside the while, I can say uh, I make a condition. A condition. It is uh, C also less or equal ten. It is begin of one. If C equal uh, less than or equal ten, also just console it console dot log print it C and then I should say C plus plus or it is equal to C equal C plus one. If I make a refresh, so from one to ten, how I can do that? The first of all, the C equal one, right? The C it is a one now. Less than or equal ten? Yes, it is the 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 condition it is true, right? So console log dot log C will cons will print one. So it is a print one here, right? Then C equal C equal one, it is a one. Equal one, it is a two, right? Now inside the while, we can we don't uh, we don't exit from the while until the condition will be false, right? It is a two. Also two less than or equal ten, right? We will console it or we print it, and it is a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Until we say it is ten, we will uh, print ten like this here, print ten, and then c equals c plus one. That means it is, uh, will be 11. So in this condition here, 11 uh, less than or equal 10? No, it is a false. So the, 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 the program will be stopped. I hope it is useful. Thank you very much.